Philippa's bear team. That would be brutal, yeah. Alright, this is kind of nice. I'm going to roll, see if we can find another one or the other thing. We did find another one. I was hoping for the sniper, though. I feel like that's slightly better, maybe. Let's be the helpless tentacles. But summon teams is insane. Yeah, I can see that. Like, if you have a load of slugs or something and you spam them with um, weakness, then <laughs> suddenly those slugs are going to be doing a lot of damage. And that's where, hello. Welcome, welcome. Rhino Beetle seems a bit baity. I think it's fine. We were going for too much of a meme there, I think. Like, I know the um, the Sea Lions probably wasn't the play, because I could have just bought, like, some synergy. Like, imagine instead of buying, like, two four fives that scale each other a little bit. Or whatever that was. A 2-5 or something. I could just buy, like, a Slug and a Dart Frog, and we suddenly are doing, like, you know, 50 damage. Extreme exaggeration, but, you know. <laughs> oh, fine. All right. I'm going to let this exist. Combine this, run that to the back, and then send it. You had a good door head ant game? So did I, but I did ruin it. <laughs> I had a good game, but I, um... I forgot how the whale worked at some point, and I gave it some equipment, and it replaced the thing it had eaten. So then suddenly it didn't have a slug inside it, and it had some random other thing, the quitter or something. Alright, a weasel. Not bad. It has decent stats, and it's pretty cool. Alright, so we can maybe do this. Start a turn if you have 11 gold, gain 2-2. Two, two. I think it's good as a temporary thing at the least. Actually, no, I should have sold the possum. Because I'm probably buying two things this turn, yeah. Should have sold it. I keep forgetting what it does because I, like, never sell it at the right time. <laughs> Although, I could go for a stoat. I've been saying that I wanted a stoat game for a long time. I didn't even get the stoat. I could maybe get rid of the groundhog for an urchin too, but... Let's be greedy. We're going for a stoat. I'll freeze it, because honestly, I can get rid of something here. I don't know what it's going to be, but I'm getting rid of something. Alright, go, go. <laughs> Found. Also, why is this team so big? That is absolutely terrifying. They only have one African penguin, too, so it's not even like it was all from that. Yeah, very scary stuff. Uh, so what can I get rid of if I'm really doing that? Because <laughs> this is like a 6-5, like, it's, it's good. This is better in, like, the late game, but it may also do nothing. Like, at best, it is also a 6-5, roughly, in, in stats. I'd rather it, though. Let's see. Show me more stoats, yeah. Show me urchin and chipmunk. Any of these, very appreciated. Alright, combine next turn. Uh, yeah, we don't have any more of those. I think that's fine to skip. I mean, honestly, we we'll probably just, like, take bacon. I think I want to sell the stoat, so I don't think I care about, like, baconing that. I'm wondering what else I can, like, keep on this team and not feel bad about. Again, if I'm rolling, I'm just looking for, like, chipmunk and maybe sea urchin, so I don't know if it's worth it. So I'm just gonna... Uh... You just trade better. Hit something even harder than you already are. Is this the test server? It is, yes. No, I can't wait for this stuff to come out on the main game, but it's still very, very much in a testing phase. Alright, double flying fish. I don't mind that, because my team kind of sucks. <laughs> like, I can probably get rid of the gazelle and the, I don't know, and the weasel, maybe even sell the other two, and then we can just, like, buy things and they'll be, like, 2-2 two, two bigger. I imagine buying a... 4-7 guinea fowl. That wouldn't be bad. I think I think we maybe get rid of the weasel and the gazelle. Because, like, if I get rid of this, then I have to get rid of that. Because we don't have money generation. But I'll buy this first. Because I do want to see what it is. Uh, knockout activates the faint effect if the nearest friend behind works two times per battle. Uh, I mean, we could do that. Hmm. I'm trying to think how I'd do this, because I can sell the weasel or the gazelle, and then I can buy both of these. Also sell, like, sea urchin, and then buy the vulture, and then that'd be pretty big. But it won't be activating on any abilities I care about. Let's do it anyway, though. Alright. Unless I get rid of the chipmunk, but I want the level up chance. Uh, I guess I don't throw it that hard, alright. <laughs> so I'll do that, then. Uh, maybe freeze that. This buffing, like, these aren't too bad. Maybe. Although we probably don't want to. There's just not really other things I'd be looking for at this stage, I think. 
Yeah, this is fine. Macaque when? I don't know. I just don't know. Also, what is happening? It's... Was that working? I couldn't tell what was happening there. It was like triggering, but I didn't know if it was doing anything. You know how you mentioned playing too much PvZ? You're playing more PvZ? <laughs> it's been so long since I played Plants vs. Zombies. But I have like a lot of nostalgia for that game. Alright, so if I buy this, it's only buffing my flying fish. And honestly, I probably want to combine them, so... Yeah, unfreeze that. Let's just... uh buy this combined by another one and then I could maybe potato something like the lettuce just isn't it like it's, it's not good so I'm either rolling for like another flying fish or I just buy like an avocado this is by the avocado all right <laughs> all right not bad uh yeah so again I need to see how this is working then because it says it should activate the ability of the nearest friend behind up to two times and it says reduce the closest enemy by three health. So, like, that should work, I feel. Did not look like it worked. Yeah, no, it didn't. Right, it's going to insta-die, so we're not even going to get to see it. But, yeah, shame. Alright. <laughs> Very weak team. Fair enough. Hopefully we can get a good combo out of this. Okay, so we have this. Uh, Silver Fox. Don't mind it. Yeah, I don't mind that. I'm just wondering how I can make it big. Honestly, we can probably get rid of the vulture. Like, we either get rid of the vulture or we have to find something that benefits, but I don't think there are that many things. Like, the quitter is a maybe. That's kind of it, right? Like, a slug ability just wouldn't work. <laughs> and this is, like, further back. I mean, maybe it could be. If I had, like, a slug back here and this isn't in the first position, then maybe we could summon some... Random little slugs for no reason. <laughs> Do to you. Hello. Thank you for the raid. Hope you guys had a good stream. Golden Pack is 100% your new favorite. I mean, same for me, but it's also just because it's like new, I think. New stuff is interesting. Anyway, I'm going to take this. I can't afford to like try and find this first, so we're just going to buy that. Maybe get rid of that soon, but I think I get rid of the Vulture before I do, because like, that just isn't doing... It just, it's just not doing anything. Yeah, we really don't care about Manta Rays. Uh, you know what? I think we do try and push the Sea Urchin a lot. It's not terrible, terrible. Let's go for the level up. It's very big, so like... Yeah, I don't mind investing there, I think. And we actually did get a level up. Okay, perfect. So I need this to not be the very last thing on my team, because I want to see if it can get some... Get some triggers. Again, yeah, this just isn't working, but this also, like, isn't better order, so I think I'll leave it like that. Nurse Shark? Nurse Shark is tier 5. Also, did that guy... Oh, we, got, we got money! Oh, it's so good! <laughs> we didn't lose HP, and we actually got 2 gold from the Silver Fox. Amazing stuff. Alright, <laughs> do I buy this now, or do I greed? Because, like, if I get another Silver Fox or a Macaque... If I get a Macaque, I may try a, um, a Macaque game. The sad thing is, like, you can't just have a full team of Macaques and feel good. I thought the Trumpets would be OP, but they're decently balanced, actually. Eh, it depends. Like, I feel like some games are... It's, it's more like specific things are broken. Like, I feel like Saiga Antelope and a load of Slugs is really overpowered, but... That's probably more to do with Slugs, because, like, Slugs and Wolves... They just synergize so well with anything that triggers off, like, faints or summons. Like, they just can be amazing. Uh, I'm just gonna buy this now, I think. Like, I don't know. There's not enough stuff at tier 6 that I really care about. And Crane. Actually really good with the Silver Fox, I think. I think we can get rid of this. We can buy this. We don't have a buy ability anywhere, so we just kind of leave. <laughs> Oyster. I may sell this stout next turn as well. Like, I could wait for tier 6, but... Oh, no. We've been investing so long. I don't want to sell the stout. Alright. Yeah, I'd rather it trigger on that. Banana isn't that impressive, but again, there's not really better things. I'm tempted to buy both of these. So, wherever I put the banana, it needs to be in front of the flying fish. So, I'm going to send that here, I think, because I'm probably not getting rid of it for a while. Maybe freeze that. Maybe we get rid of the flying fish next turn. 
<laughs> I don't know. Slug and Shock is a great combo. Yeah, I can imagine. I haven't tried any, um... Hey. Why are you getting decent money out of this? I haven't tried any custom games, but I have to imagine there are some really good combos out there. Do I like the new live slash health system change? I do, actually. I actually made a um, community post on YouTube about it today. I'm a fan of the change, but I do acknowledge that it makes the games quite a bit longer sometimes. It depends on the games, but I really like how it doesn't punish you for, you know, like losing to a B or something. You don't lose 3 HP, and there's actually a difference between the brackets. So it's not like, you know, 1 to 3 hearts is lethal and <laughs> 4 to 6 is one off lethal. It's just, you know, playing better and not losing by a tiny margin does make a difference. And Milky, hello! Welcome back. I'm, I'm trying to decide what to do. I do want to roll for like more silver foxes. I'm debating selling this, but I kind of want to get it to level 3 and then look for a tier 6 and just pivot to that. We don't have a lot of HP, so I don't know if I can afford it, but I think we try. Maybe we just like buy eggplants while I'm here. Let's get rid of the flying fish. Like, I doubt I'm selling anything else yet. It could be good for when I sell the stout, but it's not, it's not good enough. So I just need to try and find something else to pivot in at the end. And I do want this to be very big. Uh, Ring Dogtopus is fine, I think. I think I will take that. Is good stats. Don't care about any of this. Still do not care. I'm kind of tempted to just buy two bananas so we don't lose, but <laughs> I really want to get, like, something leveled up here. Come on. You? Grand head hurt. Give it melon. Five attack. Alright, we'll try. Okay, freeze another one of those. And we haven't found any chocolate or foxes. That's fine. Maybe we'll be okay. You like eggplant? So do I. Ooh. Go to teleport in the same way. Hey, value. Not as much value as it could have been because it had like perfect attack to kill my guy. But yeah, okay. All ribbons test speed run. <laughs> Interesting name. You love the banana? Good. Banana is good. I just buy all the E's, right? I don't even know how long I want to keep these things. Like, <laughs> Oh, God. All right. I know it'd be better to do this later so we can actually get the buffs on the um, thing that comes out of that, but yeah. Friend faints. If it had a faint ability, activate it again. Works one time per turn. So what does this even like work with in this pack? Like, I legitimately can't really see it. Like... If you had it on a whale, it would have to not be in the first position, and the first thing has to not have a faint ability. Like, maybe the Warthog. I can see value there. I wonder if it synergizes with the uh, the bird that activates faint abilities. You, the, the Vulture. Can't wait for a custom pack banana pill to force monkey scaling. <laughs> I know, I know, it has to be cool. Yeah, we're rolling. I need to find a level up for this. I think that'd be very important. I want the sea urchin level up as well, because this is good. Sort of. Oh, there we go. All right. <laughs> right there. We have a catfish. We're doing catfish, blue ring, octopus. Like, we just have to. And that means we're selling something, which means the oyster is fine to have as well. I will be selling the stout, too. But, yeah, I think everything is fine where it is. I'm just hoping we don't die this turn. Why has everything changed? <laughs> what do you mean? It's new. They've changed a few things, but for the most part, it's just new stuff. And this doesn't look that scary. Thought it was like Cali. Thought it was Cali for a minute. <laughs> Sap is most fun when nobody knows what they are doing. So you really have the new pack period. I actually completely agree with that, yeah. Also, we have chocolates and another blue ring octopus, so that is definitely what we're doing. Uh, summon one level two pet from your current tier is a one one. So it doesn't actually go in the shop. So I can start with this just to see what it is. It's a warthog. It's so tiny. Give one random friend plus two plus two. Triggers reach to attack this has. I mean, we can try and use that. Like the sea urchin isn't doing that much. It's big, but it's not like. I don't think it's necessary. Yeah, like it, the crane is just carrying at the moment. So let's do this. So get rid of that. I'll be buying this. Uh, I'm going to put... Again, I, I know I need like this order or something. So I will be making sure everything's in the right place. You don't remember? You haven't played Saps this summer? Okay, well that's fair enough. 
I'm keeping the Warthog. We're going to try and make that work. I'm going to pump this, though, because that's our scaling. It might get us killed, because, again, we don't actually have much of a team going at the moment. Do I put it on here? I don't know if I can get rid of the crane. I kind of want to get rid of something so I can have, like, another trigger for the Warthog. Like, if we started scaling the Vulture, then that could be very good. But maybe I can just get rid of the Silver Fox instead. Because then I can have this, like, trigger onto the Vulture, and then it's more likely to get multiple triggers. So yeah, I'll put that on there. I feel like that's fine to invest in. We're going to leave the Fox. So... No, I, I should be buying these, probably, right? I was still looking for chocolates, but I guess... I guess we do do this. Alright. So this is still tiny, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm just going to send it there. Uh, start of turn, activate the viability of the nearest friend behind, and that is this guy, so he gives everything plus two, plus two. I think that's good. They should add Cat. Cat is already in the game, and also it's a scum build. Oh no. It's extreme scum, <laughs> have mercy. <laughs> no, we're not gonna be okay, are we? No. Plus, I think I only have two HP, which means we're not going to... Yeah, they're gonna have two things either way. Oh! <laughs> it's always scum. Scum ruins the fun. Alright, five trophies. But we do get an unlock, so maybe it's something cool. And it's the pirate hat. It's returned, we have something. <laughs> We're down to game. You shouldn't be that happy. This is a sad day, okay? Bear plus tiger, even worse. Tiger? I mean, it's kind of the same as just having, like, two bears, though. <laughs> Which is what my first one was. Can't wait for a grizzly nerf. It's kind of weird that they didn't nerf it. Like, they fixed it, but they didn't actually nerf it. It's not as bad as it was, but it's not... Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's still pretty bad. Alright, and I think this is all fine. That's a pretty nice opening shop, to be honest. Leave this stuff, and we will be the bubbly rodents, because we have a rodent. I think. I assume a possum is a rodent. I'm probably wrong. Grizzly is a war crime. Basically, Vulture pre nerf all over again. It's Yeah, it's just like a worse... Because like, I remember Vulture was OP when it first released, but... I feel like this is so much worse. I can't be bothered for that. <laughs> I, guess. I guess I'm just buying a load of these again. It's so weird. I keep buying possums and I've like... I think I've only used this ability properly once. Just the vast majority of the time, I just never use it. <laughs> also, the value. We didn't get good trades out of the rest of it. We almost got a draw, but... <laughs> that was nice. It's a marsupial. Ah. I see... Alright, stack. We have an emu. I could maybe buy it for the stats, but its its ability doesn't do anything for me at the moment. Hmm. Yeah, just throw on the team for some chaos. <laughs> I don't think I care about anything else here, so... Let's roll uh, more possums, yes. There's also the lizard, and we do have these. But it would definitely be better with Conehead as well. Again, there's no way to scale at this tier. Like, you'd have to buy and sell African penguins, which I have not been seeing many of. I'm just going to leave it. This is... Hmm. No. All right. <laughs> we try. Uh, honestly, I don't really care what the emu's doing. I'm just going to send it like this. I don't think my order matters too much, barring this hitting that. Hey. Amazing value. I'm very porcupine, kind of nice now. They actually saved it. Wait, they saved it? And <laughs> Sofa King, hello. Uh, scary name, by the way. Yeah, wait, because I remember some people, like, complaining about it, because it just made it, you know, <laughs> it made it, like, auto get targeted by skunks and stuff. But again, I haven't tried, um, the multiplayer thing, whatever it's called, custom packs. What do you think of the trumpet dog? I feel like it should spawn when there's truly no more enemies, not just one. I don't know. I, like, I feel like it's maybe not perfect, but I kind of like it. I'm going to leave the stoats. It, it was not it last game. It, it could have been something. Like, if it was a grizzly or a bird of paradise, uh, a catfish, could have been amazing. I know we... Yeah, we just got this. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm going to stack this by another one of these, and then we're rolling for a silk moth and maybe lizards? Let's see. Cone snails, if we're going for that, is huge. But yeah, I'm doing the combo on the possum later. 
It's gonna be a next turn thing. And I'll freeze an egg in case we don't find anything. Wow, perfect. All right. Uh, yes, you can. You can have this. <laughs> See if it does anything. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Possum just have good stats. Yeah. I mean, that's basically my reason for taking it. I don't know if we're going to beat this. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> it's a. It's a big dog. Yeah, like looking into it like this, I think I would rather like everything have to die before that gets before that gets summoned. Also, I love this. We can have three combinations if we want. Alright. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Falcon. Uh I still don't know how to make this work. Like I don't even know if it's that good, because like you have to get into, you know, level three to summon nine nines. But it is a nine nine level three. But there aren't many that many like death rattly things in here, so maybe it's not. I don't know. I don't know. There's not a good way to heal it up. Like Silk Moth is okay, but oh, we've already done Psyker Antelope. Yeah, let's just like buy emus maybe. Buy emu, buy this. I'm gonna leave the Saiga. Don't trust it. Or rather, it's like very good, but and you know what? Let's try and level up the emu for no reason. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm still going to send it like this. I know having the Silk Moth on there. Like, there's synergy. More synergy for, than for the first one, but... I'm afraid this is just going to insta-die, and then there's no point having it there. And, wow. <laughs> Was that bad order on my end, or did something weird happen? How can it's too small to rework really in this pack? That's what I've been feeling. It's too hard to scale. Like, you can scale it into the late game, and sure, it may be good if you're killing slugs and uh, wolves. But, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's just constantly tiny. So I don't think it's great to do stuff with it by itself. I think I'm just going to go for a combination on the next tier. So I'm going to do this. I can maybe freeze an egg, but we have a lot of tier 3s at the moment, right? Two tier 3s. Let's see if we find, like, a lettuce. <laughs> no, I'd rather an avocado if we find that. We didn't, but whatever. Let's take one of these. I will unironically buy a potato. Alright, so I'm just going to send it like this. I'm going to try this time. But I don't see it working. Imagine if something worked off of the opponent's trumpets. That would be pretty messed up, I feel. Uh, yeah, hello, Saga. We don't lose, though. Okay. Yeah, buying the Saga and then just looking for the slugs next turn would have been an easy win, I feel. But <laughs> I didn't want to go for that. Now, the question is, do I buy this and then roll and hope to find another one so I can maybe get three combinations, or do I just not greed and combine there and then buy this afterwards? Because there's no reason to have two emus on the team. <laughs> it just doesn't feel good. Let's combine first. I don't trust that we're going to find another one. And white whale. I think that is fine to take. And then I could maybe freeze one of these for it to like eat, but I don't think any of these really benefit from it. Yeah, like, we don't have any faint abilities other than this, so eating that doesn't make sense. I guess I just roll. <laughs> and yeah, I could, I could make it eat the falcon if I feed it bacon. Hmm. For now, go crazy. In the future, probably not the best idea. But, yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to send it like this. I really don't care what the emu's doing. He's just on the team. I need to be careful in the future, but at the moment, I don't think it matters. Why is this so huge? Terrifying. Alright, Fiquita, no. I do really want a sea lion game, but I don't know how we're going to make that work. Like, <laughs> you need like a whole team of them, and even then the scaling's going to be really janky, I feel. So yeah, I'd take cuttlefish. I'd love to see some oysters for, you know, free money. Honestly, if I found this combo or something, I'd probably just take that on the spot. Yeah, I don't think I'd go for any of this. Like, I can take a slug, but it's just not that good. You know what? Freeze that. Uh, eat the slug instead. And then show me a poison dart frog. <laughs> well, there's the cuttlefish, but we're going to find tier 5s next turn, so now I can't be bothered. Come on. Oh. I mean, I do get one more roll if I want to get rid of the Silk Moth, so maybe. Okay, you know what? I think that's fine as well. well I was really hoping for the Poison Dart Frog, because I could just throw it behind here, and then we have great value, but... 
I don't think I even saw the other thing. The ox, which would have been okay. Sea lion lobby. I don't think that would be amazing, because again, like, sea lions, they're just, they're only scaling. And usually when you go for, like, an only scaling team, it's just, I don't know, it's unfun. You hit, like, 50-50 too easily. And yeah. <laughs> Actual synergy versus no synergy. So, uh, that makes sense. Alright, well, now I need to buy something just to make room. Uh, lettuce. Lettuce to buff my white whale. Is that where I roll for chocolate? But, like, I don't trust it, so, yeah, just make room. <laughs> State that, fine. Whatever. Uh, I can't... I think my game crashed or something? I can't interact with this. Okay, so my game hasn't crashed, but this is not in existence. Is there actually a sea urchin here? No? Guys, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I can't... I can't grab it. This, this just doesn't exist. I can hover over everything else, and there's apparently a sea urchin here, but I can't, like, click it. But, like, this... this does nothing. Leave and rejoin. Uh, that's not a bad idea. Thank you. Oh, <gasps> saved! Alright, thank you. <laughs> Interesting. I think we do take this. I think that is uh, very good, especially if we can get some chocolate to level it up. It's not a lot of synergy, but mm. currently we don't have any synergy, so I would definitely take that. I, I can't be tempted to take any of this. This is just all rubbish. <laughs> so bad. Alright. Uh... Yeah, no, we, we roll. Continue rolling. I guess I freeze an oyster. Like, we don't need this falcon. So, I don't actually know what's in here. I need to sea urchin. There are worse things. Uh, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Send it. What does the emu do at level 3? It does the same thing, but it has three triggers. So, yeah. Push the nearest friend ahead to the front. Works three times per battle. Oh, it even hits it if it's at the front. That's kind of funny. Are we dead or are we 1 HP? 1 HP. Emu plus frog game? Uh, why? <laughs> why frog? Anyway, yeah, let's, let's go a bit crazy. I'd probably take a Nihala too. Like, I don't know. I don't know what we have, but it's not, it's not good. <laughs> I see these and it's like, it's scaling for the Highland Cow, but is it better than like the possum as it is at the moment? Again, I think I'm going to end up selling that without actually having a um, death rattle thing. Which I'm okay with, honestly. Like, if I find chocolate, it's so much better than selling the possum to buy and sell during the octopuses. But if I find a catfish, it is scaling for the Highland Cow, so... Let's not buy and sell, let's just, like, keep them. Yeah, I can't really make that work anymore. <laughs> I'm not touching that. Alright, we continue rolling. No, finally found some chocolates. Uh, okay. Okay, next turn, if we survive, I double do this on the Highland Cow, unless I find a catfish very early. Which I doubt I'm going to find, but, you know. <laughs> Who knows? Onion the possum? Nah, the possum just needed to go. But again, we haven't... I keep buying them for the good early stats, but I never actually use its ability. But yeah, we're very dead. I don't think we can break this. Like... <laughs> Look at this. Like, this isn't even heavy snipes, but we don't have anything on the team, so it's very bad for us. Yeah, fair enough. Alright, three trophies. Pretty bad, but again, I'm trying... Trying janky new stuff. Alright, chef hats. I don't mind a chef hat. Hold on, let me pay out the doubters. So sad you need to go to sleep. You can't be here for the view lobbies. See you later, number. I hope you sleep well. You can sleep in that bed of data points that you got today. <laughs> there should be an animal that does the thing based on how many animals have moved. Oh, like push synergy stuff? I'm kind of surprised they didn't add more of those. Uh, also, fine. Look, we'll take this. I'm not going to combine them. It may actually be slightly better, maybe. But yeah, I think this is fine. We'll be the fragile sailors. <laughs> No more rodent teams. And hey, we get one combo. Which did nothing. <laughs> Alright, well at least it's gonna be a draw. I'm okay with a draw. Wish we had more push energies. I'm trying to think how many there are. Like, we have two pushes, and then we have, like, Iguana. 
there has to be something else. Iguana isn't the only push thing. But I can't remember what the other one is. I want to find Silk Moths and the other thing. Snails. But I don't know whether I roll or just take the decent things here. I need to take one decent thing and then I roll once. And we found a snail. Alright, I think that's worth it. So I can do this. Feel pretty good. Oh, <laughs> we have a Chef Hat Redeem. Hold on. Hold on, we'll get there. Iguana is just anti-push synergy. Fair. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely fair. I just meant like it's something that it, you know, directly interacts with push builds. Not necessarily that it's like good for them. Anyway, yeah, Chef Hats. Excellent choice. There it is, Snow. You didn't mean quite yet? Oh, okay. Uh, anyway, we need to see what this is first. <laughs> Such a fish. It's fine, but it means I have to go for trumpets. And if I don't find the stilt, then it's really not good. I'm just debating whether I do try and like make room for a lizard, but we haven't actually leveled up the silk moth or the cone, so I think we probably leave that exactly how it is. I'll take this, and then I'm just going to roll. We need to find a stilt. And I'm not buying that. <laughs> I don't like it. Uh, this can probably try and, go, try and get a level up. Still no stilts, fine. I'll send this to the back. I'm leaving that to the front, but it doesn't actually have an ability at the moment. Komodo, Komodo synergy. I mean, two Komodos isn't that bad. Because, like, the second one, you're still scaling, like, plus three, plus three. Which is kind of bad, but again, you're just, like, shuffling a smaller number of things. Alright, so I think we get rid of Cone Snail, we buy stilts, and I freeze Moth. No, I sell Possum. Yeah, sell Possum, buy this. I, I don't know, like, I could sell this, and then we can run some other stuff here. I think I just keep that there, though, like... Uh, put this here, and we're just, like, rolling for another egg or something. Trade better. <laughs> just trade better, that's all I have to say. Alright, so you get trumpets, then you get some other stuff, and you buff this. It would be better to buff that, maybe, but I think this works out fine, as everything is. Hyena Komodo Synergy. That's not Synergy. Hey. Bulldog actually doing work. Appreciate it. <laughs> if this was leveled up, it'd be like so much better too. Which we do now have. It's like, again, it's, it's good, but it's not like... It just it just pushes me to do like Psyger Antelope and then just Slugs and Wolves. <laughs> That's like all I want to do with it. But we haven't had a Psyger Antelope game like, in a while, so... In fact, I don't think I've even had one on stream, so sure, we'll go for it. Uh, almost tempted to buy avocados, but... Yeah, I don't know. I think we probably just, like, roll for level ups or something. Stop with the avocados. <laughs> we have this. Not bad. Uh, I can leave everything where it is, and I feel great. Trumpet build time? Yeah, I think so. I could get greedy and go for some, like, early combos, but I think I'll just, like, let it play out, I guess. Also, we're going to lose, which is kind of sad. We weren't that much weaker than this team, but it cost me HP anyway. <laughs> we're not buying more of those. And we only have one level 3, so, or tier 3, so Lettuce does nothing. I'm not buying these. Or am I? Again, there's not much I'm looking for at this tier. A stilt would be cool, but I doubt I'm swapping off anything, because what I really want to find is more Tiger Antelopes and then Slugs next turn. And Monkeys, Bananas. So I could buy this just because it makes my team a little bit stronger now. Let's see if I can... <laughs> you know what? Potential level up, sure. Hello? Okay, so we can send that again. I don't think we saw any Surgeon Fish either. I can never tell if I was, like, keeping track in my head. They're actually using, like, Emu Mustox. <laughs> oh. oh, we're okay. Never mind. I thought we were going to lose. Alright. Uh, slugs, please. Slugs and bananas. <laughs> I'd be eternally grateful. Yeah, no, we're not buying that. Like, a still to a bulldog, maybe, just to see a tier 5. But, like, none of this. Like, literally none of this. Alright. I can freeze this. I think I do buy that. Uh, Ring Doctopus. Actually pretty happy to see that. Maybe. Or maybe I'm not. Like, it's okay for now, but like... 
if we're going for a Psyker Antelope build, then maybe it's not even worth doing. Like, finding slugs and Psyker Antelope level ups is so much better. What's the maximum amount of trumpets you can get? 50, yeah. I've gone to 50 before. Like, you can... After 50, it starts, like, healing something or something like that. It makes a weird effect. I'm not actually sure, but... Yeah, I'm going to leave this. I don't care about keeping a lot of this on the team, and I'd much rather find slugs, so we need to be a bit greedy, I think. Yeah, no. I will continue rolling. And we found a slug. Uh... I need to get rid of something. I don't think it's the stilt. I think we have to get rid of this. So then I'll just, like, throw this in somewhere and send it for now. I... Unless they're running, like, a poison dart frog, then I don't think they're going to snipe me in a weird way. Hey, a goose. They almost got value. <laughs> they almost actually counted me with a goose. If they got to my slug, then that could have been really bad. Aww. Lost by 2 HP. <laughs> you love the beer hats? So do I. I remember when I first saw it. It's super nice. Oh yeah, and this doesn't... This doesn't work. No, it does work. Yeah, never mind. Alright, so you can do that. Uh, thank you. Thank you for showing me another one. <laughs> And suddenly we are very much stronger. Okay. So yeah, the Bulldog's really not doing that much, but... Let's maybe... I'm going to move these a little bit further forward, just because I need them to die earlier, because maybe this this will get, like, sniped. And I'd really rather that not happen. <laughs> Scum. Yeah. I also completely forgot about cherries. I forgot they existed. He needs cherries. Like, one cherry is as, is as good as leveling it up. But honestly, we're doing we're doing fine without it at the moment. <laughs> there we go. There you go. Yeah, none of this. We're not interested. Like, I will take a wolf, and we did find a wolf. Uh, bulldog. I don't even care about the level up. Let's just sell it for the extra money, I guess. All right, we need to level up this first, I think. Leveling the wolf will be useful, but I don't care yet. None of it. <laughs> Slug. Uh, look, I'm going to freeze it. I'm not actually going to buy it yet, though, and I'm not buying lettuce. I'm just going to roll a few times. Like, this, at the moment, I feel like is probably better than the slug, so I'll leave that where it is. I love all of these. All right. All right, yeah, no, I'm pretty happy about the team. Real? Real what? Yeah, we're definitely... Actually, no, they don't have that many summons, so maybe we're okay. Like, their Saiger is obviously much more impressive, but they don't have big stats or really anything else going for it, so maybe we're fine. No. Oh, no, we are. <laughs> Never mind, we're fine. Alright. Now we can get rid of the stilts. Myself, use by you... Uh, we're probably just leveling this, like... Yeah, it doesn't really matter on anything else. Then I can buy this. Wait, friend faints if it has a faint ability activated again. Yeah, no. <laughs> not with this. Definitely not with this. Uh, I can definitely buy this and feel great. I could buy a banana and throw it on the wolf. That's not bad. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Alright, assuming, assuming my backline doesn't get sniped, then we have, like, nothing to worry about. For a while, at least. There are teams that could destroy this, but for the most part, I think we're going to be fine. Yeah, she got some big triggers after that. I think they both hit the Warthog. Yeah, look at this. Like, Yeah, plus this is going to kill that, too. <laughs> he gets a 1-1. One, one. Very impressive. There we go. It took a while, but we got to it. And I am loving the Chef Hat, too. Hello, catfish. Not interested. Oh. I mean, I buy both, right? Like, this doesn't really do anything. Like, I can maybe put a tomato on there and feel fine. Do any pets trigger end turn ability? Uh, how do you mean? Like, as in kind of like the catfish, how it triggers a buy ability? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I'll, I'll find a tomato for that, I think. I'm not sure. I'm not sure this is a better thing. For now, I'm just going to buy these. It's not a big improvement, but if we do get the levels up soon, then then it will be a big improvement. Uh, this is actually a pretty scary team. He has, like, two really big things. <laughs> Look at this, this money build. 
Vulture Weasel. That's interesting. And I think I still break through with my 50-50, but it's kind of funny. Actually, wait, is this going to break through anyway? Yeah, these will break through that. All right. Even if my 50-50 had to hit that, I think we would have been... Maybe it wouldn't have been okay. Or maybe that would have traded with the Penguin and we would have had a perfect draw. It would be awesome for Monkey if you could also push... Push with the Ants. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, because I, I tried that earlier and it was very... It's sad that the Emu is really hard to use. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, anyway, what am I looking for? Tomato for you, level ups here. The slug level up probably doesn't matter that much. Like, I think leveling this to three makes more of a difference than trying to like level up one of the slugs. But maybe I go for it anyway. Like, There's not much else I can do with this team. It's really not worth it. Do I have any tier sixes? That's not just either. Uh... <laughs> Okay, I could sell the slug, buy sell oyster, buy other slug, and I don't think it's... No, I lose one gold for that, so it's still done. Yeah, that was a funny thought. <laughs> Come on. Tomato, okay. We got something. I was really hoping to find chocolate or something like that, though. Oh. Wait, he doesn't have snipes, so maybe we're okay. But they did replace my... My thing, my cherry. Which does, like, <laughs> heavily nerf my scaling. I don't know. He doesn't look that big. I think I can break through with it. 30-30-ish. Yeah, there we go. Sorry, missing no... Yeah, no, no. Avocado. Don't care. Pretzel. We can get 4-4. Four, four. That's a pretty good buff. But again, it's not as good as just, like, leveling these things. So I'm going to greet it. I, I want to level up. Come on. Somewhere out there has to be a level up. Okay, great. <laughs> Except I can't afford it. Alright, I'm going to freeze the pretzel now. Now that we have this, which was the bigger concern, I think we can start buying pretzels because this wolf, we might be able to get to level 2, but it's not getting to level 3. And I don't care about the slugs, so... Yeah. And I lost them, which is kind of sad. Also... Grizzly best scares me. Although, as you know, everything's like going to die. We're going to get like most of our value before the Grizzly Bear starts popping off. <laughs> Maybe we're fine. No, it's... Oh, wait! No. <laughs> it's so close. It was so close. It's actually just scum all the way through. Alright, so we have this. Uh, you need it. You need to not die. So we'll buy that. Hello, Grizzly. We can probably just like swap out the Psychic Antelope for a Grizzly and it'd probably be an improvement. <laughs> but yeah, we're not doing it. We're sticking with the Saiga. Let's see. Yeah, nothing here. Okay. Scum team beats scum team. Yeah, but mine's like less scummy. Like this is a... I did it again. This is a team that has like one big 50-50 and that is it. Like we don't beat this. This team is just too big. Like we can kill that normally, I think. Then the 50-50 is going to like triple trade. So maybe it's a draw. Well, it's not even a 50-50, so maybe it's just a loss. Yeah, <laughs> it's a loss. Okay, makes sense. Uh, oyster again. I can't. I'm not buying selling. I like seeing these things. Same with blurring octopus, but okay, that's awesome. <laughs> Maybe I do buy eggplants. They're not as good as this thing, but now we are only looking for scaling and like it's kind of this and the croissants, whatever it is. The ringed thing. Immediately forgot its name. Yeah, none of that. Alright. And thank you for the hydration. Change trumpet theme for bear. I'm just locked in. Like, I know a bear is better. And we're probably not going to win now, because, like, look at these teams. Everyone's, like, super scaled. Like I said, this is just summoning, like, a single big thing. Although, looking at these, I don't know if a, um, a bear would save it. Okay, yeah, what does this do? Like, it's just hitting it again with more trumpets. <laughs> oh, that was close. Come on, it's the last one. I'm not pivoting. Freeze it. I don't trust we're going to get the level up. And yeah, you need to be super healthy. 
I'm not buying bacon. <laughs> uh, I could do this. Like, if we lose, there's a chance we won't actually die. Because, again, we'd have to lose hard. Let's see if we can get the level up. It will make a bigger difference than, you know, some of this stuff, I feel. And we can. All right. Okay, almost hoping for a draw now. But let's <laughs> see what happens. Well, you know, a draw or a, a tight loss. What is this team? Why run four things in this team? Also, that snipe really hurts. <laughs> oh, no. I don't think we die, at least. Because, yeah, he's going to have at most two things, but I think just one. Oh, no. He's going to punch through. Never mind, this will win. <laughs> For some reason, I thought he was going to have to, like, double trade into that back thing, but... Yeah, there we go. A scum victory. Not bad. Alright, just had to show it off again. <laughs> so close. Oh, Samo. I haven't seen that. Alright, prediction. Six or more, yes. Alright, I really do want to get a catfish game, though. Also, wait, 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 what's the time? It's like 10 to. Do we need time for one more? It's kind of freaky. I'm going to leave all these. I don't think Bulldog's terrible, but I'm going to start buying some other things. Yeah, let's do this then. All right. And let's see. It's rodents again. We've been offered this like three times today, I think. I only took it once, but it's there. Before next game, try school. I did not see it. I'm sorry. YouTube game? No. I've already posted a game like that. Waiting to find out what Kino's team... What? Waiting to find out what Kino's team he uses constantly this pack is. I don't understand that sentence. Basically all the wins are Catfish Octopus. I, I haven't had Catfish Octopus yet though. Like I really want to... I want to try it. Before things get changed. Yeah, we just like combine these. Something like that. Kino 5 Sea Lion team. It, it won't survive. The scaling's too bad. Like, I don't know. Like, the things themselves have pretty bad stats. And, yeah, I, I just don't see it happening. Avio lobbies. It's not time yet. Like, 10 minutes, I think. Yeah, like, 10 minutes. Alright, anyway, we have a combo. Deathfish. Very big fan of that. A much bigger fan than the surgeon fish, because it's, like, the same thing, but it doesn't require trumpets, and it's, you know, almost the same stats. The team you frequently upload videos of, you had like three Yak Koala video. Dude, I posted like two runs. I posted like four runs total over like five months and people were still like, you always play Yak Koala. I just don't understand. And I don't know how I feel about Sea Ocean either. I feel like it's okay, but it's not. I don't know, it's definitely better than some of this stuff. So maybe, maybe I like double sell possums and have a big Sea Ocean. I think that could be okay. Yeah, let's just do that. I'm going to run a four squad, I think, but I kind of want to have a really big sea urchin. So, <laughs> no, this is this is roll a bit. And yeah, we don't need more of those. Don't care about the other things. Uh, let's throw you to the front, and then I guess I do just buff this thing. So that thing gets like plus three, plus three, and then it's going to get extra healing from this. Unless I do it this way, and then I can make that my really tanky thing, which I also think is fine. You're not complaining, you just thought it was funny that you liked the team so much. Uh, the Yak Koala thing? It's because it's a fun team. Will Vio Lobbies be on the test server? We'll do a, a vote. We'll do a poll and then we can decide. I may do like 50-50 or stuff, but I know most people, or more people, don't want to do um, test server stuff. So we can definitely pivot. And I'd buy squids, but I don't care about going into a trumpet build. So we want another sea urchin. Can't find more... Beat fish. I could probably just sell the chipmunk. What would I want to replace? Like a stout is okay. I can just buy it and sell it to that next turn. I wouldn't mind seeing some of the penguins either. Alright. Hey, there we go. I'm just going to buy this and roll twice. I don't care about trying to level that, I think. Yeah, if there was two of them there, then maybe. This is also kind of tempting, but <laughs> I don't think it's worth freezing. And you know what? This stays. We're getting that to like level three. What's the command for the test server link? It's in the title, I think. I can't actually see my own title, but I think it's there. That it seems too obvious. I'm sorry for making it too obvious. 
piss over the view lobbies. You say when you usually dip for the view lobbies. Yeah, see, that's the problem. We need people that are actually doing the view lobbies to be answering the polls. Anyway, meerkats. I'm almost tempted, but it's not good value. Like, <laughs> scaling... It's like one of the only scalers here. Like, decent scalers. Baboon's fine, but... Yeah, let's leave that. I'm just gonna sell this now. I wanna see what it turns into. It's another beta fish. I like that. I keep calling it a beta fish, but it's, it's definitely not... Alright, so yeah. Lettuce doesn't really do that much. As I, like, buy that. But I should have done it at the start of the turn if I was going to do that, so I won't bother at all. Uh, You know what? Let's try fleas. Well, no, because then fleas means I have to do, like, a spammy either summon or snipe team. Which basically means grizzly bear, slugs, and wolves. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to leave the flea. I do think it's good, but I don't want to do it right now. And, yeah, we'll be taking this, so we get to buff that. Hoping to see more of those. I don't mind, like, forcing stats onto the Falcon next turn if we can find a load. And, yeah. Order's still pretty good. Warthog scaling is kind of insane. It's not scaling though, right? Like you need you need scaling for it. It doesn't scale itself. Also, look at that. <laughs> it, actually, it actually crushed all the way through. You wish you could afford this the expansion pads? I can't I can't talk, but yeah. This is free. This is on the test server. If you mean the other ones, then sure, but and this will be paid when it comes out, but for now, this is open to everyone. And plus, even if you're doing if you're doing viewer lobbies, you don't actually need the packs as long as you join a lobby where the host has the packs. Because like, I make my own packs, and anyone that joins is able to use all the pets in them, even if they don't have them themselves. Uh, yeah, we're rolling. We need to find sea urchins, better fish, and baboon. I think. <laughs> I don't know what else. Alright. Kind of tempted to buy a lettuce now, because it will at least hit this, but... Uh... Do I get rid of the Silk Moth? It's been really good value. But I'd, I'd like to save some room. So I'm going to do that. Uh, you know what? Let's just avocado. Never mind. <laughs> See, I fine. We can freeze that. And you know what? Let's go for a level 3 on this. I don't think that's terrible either. This is all fine. I know this is more likely to miss, but it didn't. So that's good. What does the Urchin do? Uh, reduce the two... Okay, on faint, reduce the two closest enemies by 3 HP. So it doesn't trigger hurt triggers, but it effectively does damage, but it can't kill. It's kind of strange. And plus, apparently it doesn't synergize with some things that, are, that it's meant to, like the Egyptian vulture. Which is <laughs> kind of sad. Yeah, throw this on here. See what that turns into. Nurse Shark. No, it's... I still don't like Nurse Shark. It doesn't feel right. Alright, so at the moment the baboon is going to buff the falcon, which is fine, but let's like buy these and roll this, I suppose. Poison Dart Frog is okay, but I do not care. Uh still no. I don't care about any of this. Honestly, I don't mind getting a manta ray. I'd have to sell like baboon and the be better fish. It's a skunk, but the skunk has a faint ability. Yeah, kind of. It's like a really bad skunk. <laughs> it can remove at most 3 HP. It goes up to like 3 on 3 things, but yeah, that's obviously not incredible compared to a skunk. Yeah, I'm debating whether I get rid of the baboon and then um, combine beat fish for a, a thing, but I think I just like take one of these. Take that, take this. Okay, I'm gonna leave it. So we have a bit of a chain here, which is nice. Probably should be putting the stats onto that though, because it's also not tiny and... I mean, it's getting 6-6, six, six, it probably will get some triggers on. Okay. <laughs> the goose nerfed itself into range of getting a kill. Nice. Alright, well, we're buying selling this. That's easy. I guess we keep it in the team for now, but... A little bit. Another one of these. More targeted stats on that. I think it's okay for a turn. Then we can, like, pivot to tier 5s next turn, maybe. Yeah, and if we find another oyster, I can just combine and I won't hate myself too much for it. Uh, freeze avocado, that's a maybe. Fuck, it's gonna get so big this turn. Like, there are things I'd rather buff, like a, another silver fox would be awesome. That might be it, though. So maybe we do try. Alright. <laughs> we got the sea urchin level up as well. Okay. No, I'm liking this team. We can throw both of these to the back. I still like where all of these are. Your lobby. 
uh, after the run. You just open the test server to see a mosquito team on a summon pack. What? Well, we got one summon after that, but oh, we're fine. We're fine. The monkey even clutches it. Give us a food that activates cell ability. I mean, I'd be all about seeing new, new interesting stuff like that. Dude, it doesn't do anything yet, but maybe it will. <laughs> I don't know. Like, if I if I get the blue ring octopus, octopuses, then maybe. I'll oh, see. Maybe just get rid of, rid of the baboons. I don't even have a tier five yet. These three are still pretty big, so we can probably afford a bit of a pivot. Let's look for the blue ring octopus. Also, I only just realized that the sound effect for the catfish is literally just the sound for the fish and the cats, like, overlapped. That's <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> okay. Alright. Um, I'm in. I'm in. I like it. I'm rolling. We're finding this, uh, blue ring octopus. Is that or nothing? I will roll this run into the ground if I have to. You can be at the front, though. And also, can you trigger on anything else? We have faint abilities. Nothing's gonna work, All right? Uh, that's a little bit scary, but maybe okay here. Oh, he's actually using the. <laughs> I like when people are using the onion though. And yeah, it does mean we're going to lose because now my big guy is probably going to get some. No, he didn't make it through. Okay. That was actually closer than it would have been, but. I'm sad that I lost 3 HP there. You mean to tell us you got catfished by the sounds? I suppose I did. You know what I want to see, game. You know what it is. I'm not doing this. Like, uh, oh yeah, maybe I am. Yeah, I am. All right. <laughs> I guess I am doing this. Uh, no, we don't have summons and I don't want to pivot. I don't want grizzly bear games. They're too easy. What I do want is a catfish blue ring octopus game, which I can't seem to find. I'm just buying this. We're going to need it. Alright. I'm going to leave that as well. Like, we can't afford to push for it anymore. We need something better to make this team work. It's so sad seeing these things. Like, try to trigger and they won't. Why do you have to eat the three things that matter as well? <laughs> I know it's a little targeted on my, like, highest HP things, but it's, it's sad. All right, two more HP down. How long can I... Hey, we found one. All right. So. We definitely do one of these. Yeah, and I can start with that. Warthog. Warthog is actually pretty good to scale. Although I should have bought this first if I was going to do that, so now I'm unsure. Uh, But we're going to be scaling fast anyway. Or trying to. Chocolate cake, the bed fish for tempo, and then glorious scaling. I mean, it would have been okay. Now I'm feeling worse about it because it would take a few turns to get rid of. Plus, I don't even have it ready. <laughs> I'm just like debating doing this. It means that we can get better value out of the catfish whenever we can get that going. So, legitimately, think that might be the play. I think we just keep this team. Like, we we sink or swim with it. Whatever happens, I'm sticking it out. All right, let's go. And <laughs> suboptimal. Hello. How have you been enjoying the new pack so far? Mm. I mean, this team could be scarier, but it's probably going to kill me anyway. <laughs> no, we didn't get any value out of it. Lots of fun. Yeah. Glad you <laughs> glad you think so as well. Uh, yeah, like we probably take a pit bread. If I'm keeping the team, then I think I do need to try and get some protection on everything. So one of these is fine. Uh, more of this? I do see the chocolate cake. <laughs> hmm. Where would I put it? Because I'm definitely keeping these, and I can't actually tell what's been scaling and what isn't. This doesn't look like it's been scaling, so I guess it does scale the catfish. Nah, I'm just keeping the team. I don't want to have to pill this. Like, I think we're okay. Let's do that. Continue rolling. Uh... I really want this level up. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> Leveling this doubles our scaling potential. You can afford nice. Time to wait to spend it. Fair enough. That's what I would do. Yeah, we're very dead. It makes sense. We have, like, no synergy on the team. It took too long to find the... 
the catfish stuff. And obviously there are much better synergies in the game. <laughs> Alright. Well, there we go. Seven trophies. At least it's not bad. Is this a custom pack or the golden pack? This is the, the main one. I haven't tried custom packs yet. What is this? Koofy hat. Never heard of it, but it looks cool. Alright, hold on. So we're 8 o'clock. It is view lobby time, right? It is. Okay, wait. Let me print out the prediction. Then I'm going to take a quick two-minute break.